Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Windows script host error in app data. The system cannot find the file is specified. I will be sharing few simple steps that you need to apply and this will be surely fixing your problem. Now first what you will have to do on your Windows 10 or 11, you need to click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Click on yes the black window will be coming up here you need to type sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter now this will be looking for all the system file for all kind of integrity violation so this will take some time what we can do we can minimize it next you will be getting a link in the description of microsoft safety scanner now you need to download and install it and here you will find two different versions for 32 bit and for 64 bit. So, how you can find this out? You can click on the search box, type system, click on system information. And here in the system type, you can see my is x64. So, that means I'm using the 64 bit version. But if you see x86, that means it's 32 bit. Accordingly, you need to download it. Once downloaded, you need to click on the downloaded file. Then click on yes. The installation wizard will be up here. Check the accept the terms conditions and then click on next. Hit next. Now it says please choose the type of scan. So it's recommended that you should go with a full scan. But in case if you are in a hurry, then you can also go with a quick scan and click on next. Now this will be also scanning for all kind of malware infection. So kindly run this in the background. And next, you will be getting another link in the description of Google Drive. You need to open this link and then you have to click on download by clicking on the download button at the right in top. Then click on download anyway. And this will be downloaded in a zip file. So you need to make a right click on it. Choose show in folder. Now you need to extract it. So make a right click on it. Click on extract files. And then you can choose the destination wherever you want to save it. So let's say if I want to save it in a music folder, I will click on OK. And then if I go back to music, I can see all the files located over here. Now you need to look for a file auto run 64.exe. Just right click on it and then you have to click on run as administrator. Then click on yes. Click on I agree. And then you will be getting this kind of box. Now here you need to delete some file of vbs which are corrupted so now on the top you'll find quick filter click on the box type vbs hit enter now once you hit enter if you find any file that comes in a red color you need to make a right click on it and you need to delete it whichever comes in a red color like you can see in a blue and a yellow color similarly if any file comes related to red color then you have to delete it so once you are done you can close it and then you need to come back to the scan let it run completely you can also check your black window where we run a sfc scan it says windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation but probably you find any integrity violation which will be automatically fixed so once it's completed you can close it and then you need to wait for this scan and once this is completed you need to finally restart your pc and after that you will find that your problem has been fixed so that's all guys hopefully this solution will surely work for you and if yes then kindly subscribe to the channel like the video and let me know in the comment section if you have any issues till then take care bye bye